You know a game I haven't played in a while? Super Metroid. I'm going to play some Super Metroid. I'm not going to waste your time or mine. I'm just going to jump right down to the planet. We're going to skip past Siri Station and play some good old-fashioned Super Metroid. This game is old. It's so old that it makes me feel old. And I was already feeling pretty old. I've had back pain all week, if you can believe it. <clears throat> and there's a problem with having back pain during a pandemic when we're on lockdown is I'm not allowed to leave the house and go by... Usually I just take Excedrin, which is like, it's for migraines, but it works for any kind of uh, muscle pain. And usually that's what I take, but we didn't have any in the house. We had a big bottle of aspirin. And my wife's like, well, I read a thing with the pandemic. You're not supposed to take aspirin for whatever science journal reason she came up with. So <laughs> the first day I just had back pain and had nothing I can do about it. Until I told her, you know what, this it's starting to get unbearable. We might have to leave the house. We're like, okay, wait. Let's get out our luggage from when we went to Orlando in January. And there might be some in a travel bag. And sure enough, we had some migraine medicine in a travel bag in our luggage from January. And then I went ahead and added more boxes of Excedrin onto... This is not a Metroid item. This is a bottle. I don't know that Samus keeps her energy or liquefied missiles in a bottle? I'm just confused. Now I have back pain and brain pain is what's happening now. Let's just see what's in the ceiling here. Oh, it's my morph ball. Okay, we're gonna want to get that. So let's leave the room, come back in. I could damage boost up to the morph ball. I mean, it's got to be my morph ball. There's no other thing it can be. There's no other... There's literally nowhere else in the game I can check. If it's, uh... It's kind of a funny-looking morph ball, but I'm going to grab it anyway. Because I can't get anywhere else without it. Otherwise, this is just going to be a really, really short video series, I guess. So, get up here. Found a moon pearl for... What the hell is a Razaneer? Uh, hey! Uh, Brick, are you there? What? What's happening? Uh, I don't know. I just got this message. I, I was sitting down to play Super Metroid Randomizer, and I just got a Moon Pearl from you? I thought it was a Morph and, Ball. Yeah, and, and my first item was Rupees, but they're, it says they're for Brick Road. Here, I'll send them to you now. Are, are we in a multi-world? Oh, you know what? I think we're in a multi-world. Oh, darn it. This is, uh... This isn't gonna be a short video, then. No. We're, we're gonna be here all night. Alright, well, I guess I better get started, then. Fortunately, I took my Excedrin before I sat down. So I should be okay to sit down for nine hours, or however long this is gonna take. So, there is a magic door that's going to take us to Zelda land. And you get to go into it with one of the most useful items in Zelda, whereas I have some pocket change. I mean, we can't always get what we want, right? What I want to know is how long did it take you to rig this up? Uh, I spent about an hour, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I I tried a few seeds, and I, I saw one that was really good because it gave you a bow. Oh, well, thanks for not <laughs> picking that one. No, I, I decided I would rather have a Moon Pearl. Well, okay. You can have this bottle instead, I guess. So this is the Super Metroid Link to the Past combo randomizer. And more to the point, it's a multi-world combo randomizer, which means there's two of us and there's... His items can be in my worlds, and my items can be in his worlds, and this might go really smoothly, or we might be in for a decades-long Trolltacular. We have no idea which of those it'll be. And that's part of the fun. Hey, I was trying to wall jump here. Uh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you sent me... Well, the hundred bucks in a bottle, that's a full clear of Kakariko Village, so that's nice to get, I guess. See, I was thinking of you when I made this scene. 
Well, I should be clear, I didn't make the seed, I just chose from the first two items out of 26 different possibilities. <laughs> this was the best I could find, I'm sorry if it's bad. I mean, I had another 100 rupees in my tree here. That's a good start. So I guess we'll see what my dead-ass uncle has for me, and then we'll go to Kakariko Village. I gotta remember how to play Zelda. Hey, wasn't this a Super Metroid series? I mean, it, it still is? I've sent you ten missiles now. Well, I sent you ten arrows. It's They're like missiles for the past. Thanks for the bad missiles. Yeah. It's fine. Kakiriko Village will have lots of fun stuff for me. I don't think I've found anything but my own bottle yet. you got some arrows. But this isn't the seed where I start with a bow. What am I supposed to do with these arrows? Oh, that's right, yeah. Just load them up into my cheeks and spit them out like a machine gun squirrel? I mean, that is one way of doing that. Oh, I found a morph ball, but it's not mine. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. I don't. You're not allowed to complain anymore. I, this is now a Metroid video. <laughs> it is legendarily bad to see very late morph, morph balls. So that is so all I need now is some missiles and some kind of bombs, and I can get the hell out of Hyrule. Go where, where, where things make sense. I don't even want to get started on my morph ball bad luck. <laughs> One of the issues with the multi-world is that starting out, uh, there's a million Hyrule checks and only two Metroid checks. And it stays at two Metroid checks until you get a Morph Ball and some missiles and some bombs. I mean, you're most of the way there, aren't you? I don't have any missiles or bombs yet. You said arrows. I mean, the Morph Ball's the big item, so... It takes more than ten arrows to open up one of those red doors. Oh, well, they should update their red door protocols or something. Oh, is this my cane? Ha 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 ha, I got a blue cane. Ooh, that's a nice cane. I hear you can uh, do a lot at the start of the game with that. <laughs> One of the settings for Link to the Past Randomizer, if you put it on, I think, standard settings, you have to do the escape. So your first item is a guaranteed weapon of some kind. And the cane of Birna is one of the options. Oh man, that'd be miserable if you got that in, like, say, a race or something. You really wouldn't want that. No, you really no. would not. <laughs> Just run out of magic, then what? Oh yeah, you'd have to start over, like, three or four times. <laughs> I did find some missiles in the woods, though. That's where they were keeping them. Oh, that's them. good. My lumberjack item was a piece of heart, so I don't think that we need to do aganim over here. Nope, mine was arrows, so no aganim here. Hooray. Nobody wants to do aganim. <laughs> That just make the video ten minutes longer. For no reason. Yeah. Of course, the plus side, you do get to make blue balls jokes if you have to fight Aghanim. I mean, yes. Unless they hit you, then you're the joke. And there's my power bomb, so I'm good to go in Metroid once we are... Wait. I don't have any bombs! Damn it! <laughs> Here's some more missiles, though. Thank you. I thought I found bombs, but I must have found those for you. Uh, I don't know if I got any. I distinctly remember pulling three bombs out of a chest. I'll go down and get some out of the bushes. Oh, regular bombs. Okay, sorry. <laughs> There's so many bombs in this combo randomizer. Oh my god, my merchant also had bombs, but guess what? Thank you. I haven't even gotten to Kakariko, and I don't ever have to use the bomb hut. <laughs> this is a great seed already. Ah, there we go. I hit the bomb hut twice. The bushes came through for me. Alright, so Blind is famous for me for having for other players. 
So we will see if that continues. No, it's just garbage today. And some money for Brick Road. I'll take it. Here, when you get to Metroid, there you go. Ah, nice. You get the energy tank, I get the reserve tank? Well, same difference. What is that, a, a fairy from the future or something? <laughs> oh man, this is just the house of money for Brick Road. Yeah, keep piling it on. A couple more houses like that, I can go pay the big fish. I mean, do you really want to be part of that pyramid scheme? I don't know what's on my pyramid. I don't have a moon pearl, so I can't go check. You tell me. Ugh. I paid the merchant 100 rupees to send you 50 rupees. Fine. I mean, man, wiring across multi-worlds is expensive nowadays. <laughs> he took his share, didn't he? Yeah, he really did. Ooh, I have a speed booster. And a fire rod. And a mushroom, apparently. Yeah, enjoy. Aren't you glad I got bombs and went back to that well? Oh, I'm very glad. I gotta check off all these things, though. It's very important that you keep a tracker properly. Very important that you keep on top of your tracker, and very important, we've also learned, the hard way, to stay in logic. Yeah, we're gonna do the best that we can. Sequence breaking, and we're both already guilty because we both got the Brinstar ceiling, which is out of logic. Yeah, we've already broken the logic, so... I had Bombos in my ceiling, and you had my Moon Pearl, so I shouldn't go to the Dark World yet. Um... Not yet. I'll tell you when that ceiling would be in logic for me. I mean, you can go over here if you want. I mean, what is there going to be for me to do there? Probably nothing, unless you have a glove like I do. Oh, rude. <laughs> oh, I just told myself I didn't need to go in here, so what's the first thing I do? I go in the bomb hut. Right. Uh, I don't have a bottle. I do have a bottle. Oh, I didn't click my bottle, though. There, now I've clicked it. What's funny is in post, I'll update that properly, so it, my this commentary won't even match what's happening on their screen. Oh, that's fine. I've got missiles, supers, and power bombs, and a morph ball. I'm ready to go clear out Brinstar. I think I'm going to do that once I'm done with Kakariko here. Item density does tend to be higher in Metroid than it does in Zelda. But Zelda has way more overall checks. Mm, I do have a speed booster, so I could go join you in Metroid. Oh, I have a Varia, also. I always forget, do they have hell runs in Logic in the combo or not? I don't think that they do. Not unless you're playing it on hard mode, which... Why would we do that? I... Again, I didn't generate the ROM. Did you pick hard mode? I hope not. I think all that does is maybe puts heat runs in logic. It doesn't do anything on the Zelda side, I don't think. I don't believe it does. It doesn't make it swordless or something. Oh, that'd be miserable. Ooh, I got a spacer in the library. Guess who's never getting a spacer? Uh, hooray? <laughs> Who wants the spacer? Nobody. So what you're really saying is when I have plasma and I'm fighting, like, Mother Brain or something, you're going to go to the library and change my beam up. That would be hilarious, yes. Yeah, I'm going to save and quit and go to Metroid. Work my way all the way down to Norfair. That'll get me on to Death Mountain. I'm not sure how far I can get with just the speed booster, so I'm going to stick around in Zelda for a bit. Your tracker should show you. That would require me to click on the Metroid part, though. It would, yes. You have to... <laughs> in order to get information from the tracker, you do have to click the tracker. Mm, I can get a fair bit. So that... And I'm gonna do some cleanup here, and then I'll go back to Metroid. My gauntlet's not in logic yet. <laughs> Alright, I'll be a good boy and not go up to the gauntlet. Let's just... Uh, do I have... Um, you know what? How Let's many energy tanks do you have for that? Just one. 
Okay, yeah. I don't think that that's in logic until you have at least two or three. The limiting factor wouldn't be energy, it would be power bombs. I've only got five. Power bombs, too, yeah. But ev just about everything in Bryn Star is open. So we'll just make the sweep down, starting with the bomb Torizo. It's a good start. You don't have bombs yet, so you. Sorry, bomb Torizo. Oh, I don't need to fight him, that's right. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Quake Medallion. Yeah, the bomb Torizo doesn't even come to life if you don't have the actual bombs. Which... It would be really funny if you had regular, like, Link bombs, and it counted that. <laughs> we could point out, too, that that's actually not the case in any of the popular Metroid randomizers anymore, in the item randomizer or in Varia. Uh, now you have to fight the bomb trees no matter what you do. But this combo is based on an outdated version of both of these randomizers. I wasn't aware of that, actually. I missed a check down here. It's going to be something really important for you. My desert ledge was just missiles. Ah. Nobody needs that. Nope. I might have to go back to the ship and refill these power bombs. In fact, I'm going to because there's a check I can do over there. Oh, I just found power bombs, but they're for me instead. Wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, I need power bombs. Oh, I got power bombs. Thanks, mysterious stranger. <laughs> I really hope you don't have another player just waiting in the wings that we're going to find items for, speaking of mysterious strangers. I mean, I could have spent a long time playing these seeds. It only took 3,972 tries to find one where it was just front-loaded for two people. <laughs> Shoutouts to BT Sierra for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave me a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.